As I haven't uploaded in about two years, I also haven't bought any new clothes in about two years. I'm glad to be back. I had some struggles with my health recently and honestly still have, but I can't just disappear from this channel. After all, I had a great journey with you guys that I enjoyed thoroughly so far. I don't want to promise bi-weekly uploads already, but I hope we can get back to where we were before this little break as quickly as possible. If there are any topics you want to see covered in the future, please let me know in the comments. Getting back to me not buying clothes for an extended period of time, did I get rusty? On a rainy day in late May, I wanted to give it a chance and ordered some casual pieces from Spear and Mackay during a sale. Because some of you used the affiliate links from my not so recent anymore videos about the Canadian based online shop, the order was almost free for me. I did have to pay taxes though. Since last year, Spear and Mackay calculates the taxes and duties for you during checkout and you can pay them right away. Instead, you can opt out from the service and pay the fees yourself after delivery. For countries in Europe, Oceania and Asia, there will be additional fees. If you shop from the United States, only orders with a value higher than 800 US dollars are subject to customs and duties. Shipping to Germany via UPS took a bit longer than stated in their FAQs. I would expect a week up to two weeks after you placed your order and more for made-to-measure items. The parcel arrived in great condition as almost always when handled by UPS. Item number one is this burgundy quarter zip in XS. For reference, I am 1 meter and 80 centimeters tall and about 65 kilograms. The fit is snug, as described by Spear and Mackay, but the sleeves are long enough. Honestly, this has been my main problem with finding ready-to-wear clothes that fit me. Either they are very loose around my upper body or the sleeves are way too short and sometimes even tight. The latter is also the case with this piece, at least when worn with a shirt underneath. Besides, the fit is great and the Australian merino wool fabric is slightly thicker than expected and has a nice and soft touch to it. The sweater is made in China, the zipper is made by YKK. I will continue to wear this quarter zip as a layering piece for autumn and winter. With these undyed denim jeans, I don't really know what I was thinking. I already have a pair of white salvage denim jeans from Suit Supply and I don't wear them at all. On the one hand because they are too tight and on the other hand because I just don't enjoy wearing jeans too much. This pair from Spear and Mackay is rather off-white than white, size 28 and with a slim fit. 
They are a little bit looser than the pair I got from Suit Supply and therefore fit slightly better while still being too tight for my personal taste. The zipper is made by YKK, the fabric is pure cotton denim and the closure button is made of nickel, which I am allergic to. Uh, also one of the other buttons fell off just after a few minutes of wearing. Uh, I wanted to give denim jeans another try and it failed. This burgundy cotton knit hoodie is another piece I am not quite certain about. I bought it because I thought it would look good with the denim jeans, but now that I know for sure that I just don't like wearing jeans, the hoodie also lost its predestined purpose. This is XS as well, the fit is decent and the material is very thin. I do like the color though. Finally, this denim blue turtleneck is amazing and I will wear it more than just often. The quality of the collar is superior to the most recent turtleneck I bought at Uniqlo and the fabric seems to be thicker and more durable as well. This appears to be the same Australian merino wool they used on the quarter zip. The fit in excess is good and the collar just looks amazing in my opinion. For less than 60 bucks during a sale I would highly recommend this knitwear piece. What do you think about my latest purchases from Spear and Mackay? Also, let me know in the comments if you would like to see a 5 ways to style episode about any of these items. With that said, I wish you all a great weekend, stay safe and see you soon.